Hey subscribers and watchers, what's up? From Slide Nerd, this is Waves over here. In this video, let's talk about what are object references in Java. So first, let's talk about how objects are created. If you guys remember, there is a class test. It has an instance variable string x that contains a value high. At this point, if I try to make an object of this class test, I will simply say test my test is new test, right? Let's break this down into different pieces and try to understand what is going on. The first word test is the name of the class. The second word which is my test, which is the variable that we have used here, it's actually an object reference. Then the test over here on the right hand side is the constructor and new is a special word that creates memory in Java, right? So let's take a look at what happens if we try to print the contents of the variable. If you guys remember, if you had said int x is 7 and you say system.out.println x, it's gonna print 7, right? But let's take a look at what happens if you print my test here. It's gonna print something like this, very weird, test at the rate 2e whatever it is there over there on the screen. So what is this about? You see, in Java, a variable who is a class does not actually hold an object. In other words, this my test variable does not contain the object or it is actually not the object it contains a reference to the object actually stored somewhere else it holds the memory location of the object so when you print this my test it contains the address of where the actual object is stored in memory and that is what is being printed here 2e686 ce8 hexadecimal address and test over here is the name of the class to which this variable my test belongs the object itself is stored somewhere now why is this done it's it's done because objects can be large they can be thousands of instance variables inside a single object <laughs> there is no restriction on that hence it's better to keep the variable at one place store the address of the object in that variable and keep the object at a separate place that's how java works with classes as far as object oriented programming is concerned so let's take a look again at that simple example where we say test my test. So what happens? Let's take a look. When you say test my test, what you have is this reference variable over here that has been created. Now when you say equals to new test, the object is actually created at a different place. It contains the string x equals to high right here, right? And this is the object that is stored somewhere else. Precisely, if you try to print it out by saying system .auto print in my test, it's gonna print test 2e686 CEA. In other words, this number 2e686 CEA is what is contained inside this variable, which represents the address where this actual block, this blue colored rectangle along with this orange colored data inside is being stored. That's how objects work. So my test variable does not contain the object, it refers to the object. So now let's talk about this further and try to understand something about equality. So again, you say test my test is new test at this point. There's my variable my test. There is the object actual object that contains the data x equals phi that is stored somewhere at some other place. And my test is simply pointing to that place with this arrow over here. So now when I say test your test equals to my test, what I'm trying to say is, hey, my test contains the address, which is 2866CEA, whatever your test should contain the same address. That's what I'm trying to say. In other words, your test is going to point to that same address where that other actual object is being stored. So at this point, if you print my test and you print your test, both are going to say 2E686CA. This is why when you're comparing two objects, any two objects of the same type, you should always refrain or avoid using the equals equals by saying my test equals equals your test because that is gonna merely check if both of them contain the same addresses or not which may not be the case all the time it's not gonna compare the values okay so you need to avoid refraining this now if you guys aren't sure about this I've already talked about this in my Java programs for beginners playlist where I talk about string comparisons here let's talk about what happens with primitive types int x is 13 now let's take a look at how this is stored you directly have x and 13 at the same place in memory so no problems with that because primitive types require little storage you know that integer is going to take only four bytes so it's better to store everything at one place rather than have different places right 
but if you talk about objects here there's int x is 13 so x equals to 13 in memory now when you say int y is x notice carefully what happens is that a y is created as a separate variable that contains the value 13 x is created as a separate variable whose value is also 13 and if you say int y equals to 10 the value of y is changed from 13 to 10 the value of x remains as it is right now this is what happens when you talk about primitive types in java now let's take a look at the same case where we are trying to do two things assign them to each other and then change the value and see what happens with object references so here when you copy a primitive type the original and the copy are different values remember that statement very well different or independent values but when you talk about object references here now let's take the same example what I have is the class test there's the instance variable string x equals to high and there's a method that says public void change where it says x equals to buy in other words it takes the instance variable x changes its value inside the method now when I say test my test is new my test and I say test your test is my test in other words first my test is going to contain some address right your test is also going to contain the same address that my test contains over here that means my test and your test are containing the same address are pointing to the same address where the actual object is stored so now when I say system.out.println my test.x your test.x it's gonna be simply high high on both sides now notice very carefully I've said your test dot change in other words what I'm saying is your test which actually contains the object that is this one over here I'm changing its value from high to buy over here now if I see this picture it looks like this your test has changed its value but remember that your test is pointing to the same address as my test which means if you change the object that is being pointed at that address you're changing this actual object over here for your test you're also tampering with the value of the object for my test hence now if you print this my test.x your test.x since both of them point to the same place both their values are gonna become pi which means object references share objects if set equal over here and that's why change in one will affect the change in other but for primitive types that is not the case now, if you guys are a little bit confused about this in the next video we are gonna take a simple example try to understand this at a practical level in that means in the meantime if you guys do like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below have a nice day thanks for watching I'll catch you guys in the next video.